Merry Christmas, everyone. Good evening. This is Praise Cathedral Global Outreach Iligan. If this is your first time to tune in, in behalf of Pastora Daphne Vicente, I am Pastora Ria Ella Caberos. Tonight, we will study the Word of God. Let us open our Bible in Proverbs 14. Proverbs 14, verse 4. Without oxen, a stable stays clean, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest. 23. Okay, let's jump into 23. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. God bless His Word. We are reminded tonight that um, with, uh, without oxen, a stable, a stable is the place where animals are, are being kept. Um, uh, a stable is a place where the animals are, are um, safe. And the Bible is saying that without oxen, a stable stays clean. You know, in life, as, as, we, as we journey through life, sometimes uh, it can get messy, right? Um, if today you are one of those people who, who desires or who wants to achieve great things in life, brothers and sisters, be prepared that anytime you can, it can get messy. The relationship as, as we dreamed of, like uh, we want our marriage to, to, to work, we want our children to bring them to, to college, no? allow them to pursue the dreams or the courses that they want to pursue, or in our finances, no? as, as, we, as we work hard, it can get messy. With regards to relationship, if if it's clean, like if it's, if it's, um, sometimes it can, it can get boring. When the relationship, when we settle that the relationship is just monotone, when the relationship is um, static, then it cannot get messy. But if we want the relationship to have dynamics, to have a movement, to have an impact, then the relationship can get messy. And we need to be prepared. We need to be equipped of the things that we, we desire to happen. We need to be equipped of the things that we want to do. We want to be prepared of the things we want to pursue. We need to be prepared of the people we want to pursue or we want to keep in our lives. Without oxen, a stable stays clean. If we want the relationship to, to work, then the relationship cannot stay like static. The relationship cannot stay boring. And if we want the relationship to prosper, if we want the relationship to go to the next level, friends, it can get messy. Relationship will be tested relationship will be will go through fire if we want the relationship to have dynamics dynamics in the sense that it has ups and it, it has lows it has movement it has impact but if we want the relationship to be static like no movement at all chill will just be chill um, we don't care about anyone we don't care about each other then definitely the relationship will just be boring. It, it will not get messy. But you need to choose. Do you want the stable to, to stay clean? Or do you want a harvest even if, even if it can get messy? And it, and, and it says here, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest. It doesn't just need an ox for a great harvest, but it needed a strong ox. Are you willing to be the strong ox in your family? Are you willing to, to go through the mess? Are you willing that it can, it, can, it can get messy, it can be discomfort, it can be um, inconvenient? 
Because you know, when there is a harvest, um, I, I've read this from a book that um, the, during the harvest, the expense is high. We need to pay the price of the harvest. If we want a harvest in our income, in our finances, then be ready, be equipped to be the strong ox that you can go through the messy part of the harvest. If we want our um, relationship to harvest, to have a great harvest, then be very willing to be the strong ox, to be the one who will, uh, who will not be discouraged, to be the one who will not be driven by emotions, but be driven with the, with the desires of your heart for your relationship. Students, if, if we don't want um, a good grade, then it's all right not to be lar, right? But if we wanted a, a, an excellent score, an excellent grade, then be ready, be willing that it can get messy. Messy in the sense that you will not have a, enough hours of sleep, maybe. Maybe you don't have more time for laag. Maybe uh, you will not have more time for social media. It can get messy. But if our, hand, if, if our minds, if our minds are, are focused on our goals, then it's all right. It's all right that it's not clean. It's all right that it can, mess, it can get messy. It's all right that uh, you will, I will be in discomfort. I will be in an inconvenient situation. It's all right. That is if you want to have a great harvest, like the stable where, where the animals are kept. If it's during harvest, it's very messy. It's very smelly. It's noisy. And that's all right. That is just okay. Why? Because it's, it's harvest time. But if we, if we don't want a harvest, then let the stable uh, stay clean. Let the stable um, be peaceful and not noisy. Why? Because a, a messy, a messy stable, a messy, um, a messy um, flow could bring profit. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. We want to go higher in our finances. We want, we want this. We want to achieve this. We want to buy that. We want to acquire that. But we need to work. The Bible says work brings profit. But if we're just talking about our dreams, I want to go here. I want to buy this. I want to acquire this. But still today, you, you are still on that same chair that you sit on day after day, night after night, then nothing could happen. You are waiting for nothing, friends. So my encouragement tonight is it's all right to get messy. It's all right to go through these difficulties. I am in discomfort. I am in inconvenience for as long as the harvest will come. If you are working so hard today, do not give up. Even it can get messy, it is discomfort, it is inconvenient because one day a great harvest could just pour down from heaven. God will reward our faithfulness. God will, re will reward our effort. God will crown with success our efforts today. So my, my encouragement for each one of us, work, work, and work. Work faithfully. And the Lord will be the one to give us the harvest because he is the Lord of the harvest. My prayer is that the harvest in your life will not stop for as long as you will continue to be a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. A disciple is a learner, a student, a student of his word and a follower of Jesus Christ. God bless everyone and Merry Christmas.